So good morning. This is uh, obviously an exciting day for the city, and in particularly within the city, our Department of Parks and Recreation. As uh, as we talk about and look and just watch the growth of our community in every possible direction, a lot of our departments uh, really see their work expanding, and that is uh, particularly true for Parks and Recreation. And it's been an exciting time, last eight to ten years, as we've been able to deliver new and better infrastructure throughout the community uh, to serve uh, the athletic and recreational needs of of all of this population that continues to grow. Uh, it, that department led by, by James Gossett has a great team of folks that, uh, that help us design, build, really monitor that demand and make sure that we're building the right things in the right places uh, and that this, this park is certainly going to be one of those things. Uh, talk briefly about the park itself. Uh, you know, we have a lot of a lot of parks and athletic facilities. We just completed one right around the corner here that uh, that brings soccer fields and other multi-use fields into into the community. Uh, this park is, in a lot of ways, very analogous to what you see at Big Spring Park downtown. Uh, mostly passive spaces, a place where you come eat your lunch, where you have a picnic with your family, where you throw a ball with the with your son. It also has a performance stage where we can put on concerts and other special events and things. Beautiful lagoons and water features. You'll uh, very soon uh, our contractor will begin construction of uh, of what really will be an iconic feature. I would almost call it art, but it's uh, it's art with moving water, a waterfall style feature on the other side of the lagoon uh, that probably becomes the photo spot in Huntsville. So all the all the young ladies going to the prom and the homecoming dances, they're all going to come down here for their photos as soon as this thing is done because this is going to be an absolutely gorgeous place uh, for people to hang out and uh, enjoy time with their families and do things uh, in a recreational uh, fashion. So a uh, beautiful, beautiful spot. We don't get here today, though, without great teamwork. And that's true of all the things that we build across the city, but it may be more true here than almost any other thing we've done recently. Uh, as we as we look at uh, how Chad Bostic, who led our design process, pulled in a, a great team of professional engineers, including To The Point, who's represented here uh, doing civil work, uh, Noel Van Persen doing the, the architecture on the vertical structures, and, and multiple other professional engineers, uh, just a great team of people to work with. Our city departments, general services, and park parks and recreation in particular of really helping drive the design and, and in managing the process. But also, this is a park that had a lot of community input. Uh, and as, as Ms. Robinson uh, noted, particularly from the Hayes family and from Freedom Real Estate in particular, who spent a lot of time around the table with us, sharing ideas, helping refine the plans, doing the things it took to, to get to a point where we could bid it uh, and get a successful contractor out here. So I uh, really appreciate all of the teamwork that it took to get here. Uh, and as was noted, the Hayes family in particular, not only on this particular piece of dirt, but this entire area, the work that they're doing to bring new development into South Huntsville, and in some cases like this, donating land in order to bring great amenities for our community uh, has been really, really important and very powerful for our community.